All right, today is a great uh, early morning. The weather is really, really nice out. Winds are about three to five miles per hour. Um, got a great opportunity for a quick rip before I go to work later on this afternoon. So we're gonna go to the school LZ, get it all set up, um, get our wing out, laid out, and hopefully be up in the air in just a few minutes. Um, you know, scope out which way the winds are coming and set up my windsock, figure out which way is the best way to do my launch. Um, right now I can barely feel any wind whatsoever. There's a flagpole way over there. Um, the flag is pretty much limp so that means we have very little wind so I'll need a little bit longer field than normal to make sure that I get up in the sky safely. So I'm going to grab my windsock and get set up probably somewhere over there because usually that's a really good part of the middle of the field to launch from. So it looks like we have a slight wind headed that away. So based off that knowledge, I think we're gonna use this field right here to launch towards that tree line up and over. So we'll get everything set up um, and go. Usually if I was not able to see what way the wind was coming, if that was completely limp, I would use the Ryan Carlton app. A lot of times they'll give me a little bit more information or maybe windy.com or something like that and show what way the forecast for the winds are. Um, that way I can kind of add that data together and try to find the best uh, launch angle. So I'm gonna grab my gear. So this is a lot of fun. I gotta run back to my house uh, to go grab my uh, cell phone. I think I left it on the couch before I left. Um, just wanna be safe to make sure I have it. So now I gotta run back and grab that before going back to my LC. Luckily, I don't live very far from my house, so it's only a few moments up the road, so we'll go grab that and get back on the site. So one thing I like to do is uh, get my engine pre-warmed as I set it out before I get my wing. I uh, let it run while I move around. Uh, that way, we don't run into any issues, and I'll run it up to full power to make sure everything is all set to go. So with that, I'm gonna start the engine. I'm actually going to back it up just a bit to give myself a little bit more of a runway. So we're going to change spots uh, from over there to over here.
that was kind of a poop landing. Um, as I was coming in, I tried to kill the engine and during that moment, it didn't die or didn't shut off. I was also trying to pull pressure, so didn't get that down as smoothly as I wanted to. Um, luckily, I was able to kill the engine uh, properly and land safely, but not the smoothest landing, but still it was nice to see my instincts kick in and make sure that I was doing the right things as I was coming in to make sure that I landed on my feet and landed properly. So all in all, it was fun. A little adventure for before I go to work. So I'm glad I was able to get out and enjoy this nice warm weather because it started out cold, but now it's definitely warm. Okay, some very important takeaways that I want to share with everybody. Um, I've been flying since about August of last year. So for those who are new pilots who are watching this or wanting to get in the sport, it's very, very important to realize that not every flight is going to be the best flight ever. I've had flights where the winds were super calm. I've been able to be very fine tuned with my uh, piloting. And then I've had times like this where the wind keeps shifting on me. I've had to do a little bit more active piloting. I had the kind of funky uh, landing just a bit ago. But it's important to realize that if those days occur, that those are not the only days that you're going to fly. Those are not the only types of flights that you're going to have. You're going to have those great days, and I'm sure we're going to have those bad days as well. But the important thing is to just continue to build upon what you are learning. Hone those skills. Hone those reflexes. Um, they've come in handy for me when I've been flying. Uh, my reflexes kick in, and I know exactly what to do in each situation. And that will continue to grow as I do this over and over and over and as I grow as a pilot. So with that, I thank everybody for watching. I hope you have a great day and stay safe in the air.